Hello, welcome to another video in Blooming Life. Today I'm going. I have like very different stuff to show you. I I make I made a sweater and I would like to share with you the tutorial how I made it from the start to the end. Okay, so this sweater is quite long, but it's so so beautiful. Like I wasn't expected that was really really nice. I made it with some like it, I look like this dog that is like a mop <laughs> but it's really really nice sweater you can make it like more plain and simple or you can make it with the stuff the strips quite long but knitting has give you the rewards at the end trust me I will tell you a little bit of the benefits of knitting knitting improves your personal self like self-love because at the end when you finish any anything it makes you feel like yeah very rewarding at the end like oh yeah I make this nice I can do this and that way you challenge yourself to make like and stuff I remember that when I started to knitting I just made like scarves like really ugly scarves I'm not saying that now I'm a pro in the knitting but I, I really improved and makes me feel really really good another thing is that makes you kind of meditation because you are just like when you when you are knitting you are kind of so concentrated in that and then you forgot anything outside and you are just concentrated and you are just even stop thinking and you're just like mechanical knitting and it's very good good for you like like if you are anxious people like me that has to be always doing something or with their hands really helps you too so yeah knitting is very very good for you sometimes people is like no knitting is for old people blah 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 but it's not really like they're just prejudices 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 Okay, so with this sweater, I, I use approximately 450 grams of yarn. Really depends the yarn that you want to use. I use one kind of glittery one because I, it was not enough pink and the strips. I want a glitter one, but that depends on you how you want it. The size of the sweater is, I think I am S normally, but I made it like medium one because I wanted more loose I didn't want like a tight sweater and approximately the large I am like a tall person I'm one meter one meter 74 um, yeah 174 and well I think I'm quite large so it's the size of the sweater if you want to make a different size well you will have to um, need less or more 
I mean the large the height and the weight of the sweater but it's like for a medium medium size and what are the things I think that's it yeah let's get started and hope you make it to the end very good for this sweater what you will need is the yarn I choose this pink one the type of the yarn is Alaska the name but it depends of the yarn that you like I really suggest yeah like a soft one I bought this one like for a bunch like it was like in big quantity how much uh, yarn you will need I used 400 grams but it depends on how big you want the sweater as I said I used 430 grams but I really really suggest to buy more yarn because then you will need and sometimes they don't have the color okay the needles I use number four and to start you have to cast on stitches on your needles so how you do this first of all you take your needles I, I put them together and then I made a slip knot so to cast on you will need to leave like a like a large space on your yarn it depends um, how, how many s stitches you are going to cast on so okay I leave like a meter and a half so then you insert your needles like in the loop and then you cross the yarn and then you wrap it okay you tied it a little bit so you have to cast on 68 stitches because um, our pattern or stitch has to be multiples of three so then you are going to cast on 68 stitches and Six, so 60, 66 is a multiple of 3 then plus the 2 stitches of the border so to cast on your stitches you have to do like the gun shape and then you open your two fingers like a gun and you're going to like rub your needles so basically you make like two loops so you pass through your needles in your loops that's the idea so you pass through in one loop the another loop and then you pull through oh be careful <laughs> and then you pull it through and yes, this is how you do it. I will do it again a little bit slowly. Very good. So this is how you cast on 68 stitches. Again, you pass through your loop, the another loop, you pull, and there you go. So here I cast on 68 stitches and now we are going to just leave one needle but first you have to tight your stitches. I just do like a simple knot. You can make another knot but it depends on you how reversed you want it. 
this is how I do the knots, but maybe you know a better one, but this is the one that I know. Okay, whoop, there you go. Magic, we have our stitches. And now we are going to start with the pattern, the stitch. The one that we are making, the border stitch, is going to be the rise one. How we are going to knit it is first right What we are going to make is the border of the sweater. This depends how how high do you like it? I'm going to do it like 7 or 8 centimeters, but it really depends on you. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what we are going to do is um, you have to choose the height of your border and we are going to start with the border of the sweater. They call this edge like a rise stitch, so it's very easy. You pass through the, per the first stitch without knitting and the first one knit and one purl. It's such a funny name. <laughs> okay, so the knits, you wrap your needle and you take it from the right and the purl you take your needle from the left so the knit from the right and the purl from the left that's how you wrap your yarn and here we are going to do consecutive one right one knit one purl one knit one purl until you finish until you finish your row so I'm I'm going to finish almost the first row but independently what it asks you you're going to knit the last one in in a knit this is the first row of the H now we are going to continue with the famous stitch rise stitch is the one who is going to be in the border, in the elastic of our sweater. How is the rise stitch? Basically, you have to do like the opposite of what it asks you, your stitches. So first, we pass through the first um, stitch. You're always going to pass it through. You will never going to need the first one. Okay, so... Here it asks me, as you can see, this is a right, a, uh, a knit one. Instead of knitting the, like as a knit, you're going to do it as a purl. Here it asks me as for a purl and I'm going to knit it. I'm just going to knit it. So one knit. And here consecutive. Here ask me for a knit I do a purl here ask me for a purl I do a knit and like that you're going to finish your second row and this is how you're going to do it in every every row until you get the height that you would like so let's finish this row that is the second one and here I finish all the height of the edge of my sweater it is approximately 7 centimeters is what I like it but in total were 8 rows so if you like this height you can do 8 rows or less or more and let's continue in the next video.